Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Wolong Let's Play. So we're still in the burning city of Luoyang as we are going to find the location of the final boss. There's still quite a bit to clear out, including the Shui Gui, who... Wow, we can deflect that jet of water. Did not know that. She's terrible on land. Now we came across this tunnel there is another tunnel down here and two more shrigway that we did not kill so we're gonna just use this ladder and hopefully get a successful fatal strike which we did and then check out this area what is here rank 5 leather okay nothing too fancy there's two more shrigway over here I believe we can sneak past them and then get a jump attack from here or not. But a stab is not out of the question. Which way does she turn? Oh, she missed us. If we can't hop onto this, I don't think we can... Actually? That works. And we have ourselves a marking flag. Two more of these to go, and the last banner should be the banner before the final boss. So that one will appear naturally. We did not clear everything on the other side of the tunnel before we travel through it, so we're going to have to go back and get that done. Now, he's a little too slow. I don't want to wait for him. Let's just go. There's a decent amount of stun lock with this weapon, even though the attack speed is much slower than the dual version. It's still quite good. I do want to make it work, so we're going to stick with it. Good change of pace after sticking with our other weapon for so long. We didn't kill this guy, and there's a treasure on the broken bridge. So we're gonna get him. If we could accumulate that burn a little quicker, there is a stun on the burn once it does queue up entirely. We don't have to fight these two again, do we? We don't. I can grab this. I think there is a treasure on that side of the broken bridge too. I don't know if we can clear this jump. Let's try it. No, we can't. This is where, I guess, these tunnels come in. He's facing this way, so what if we sneak up this way? Nope. The fire still accumulate when he defl- oh, when he guards, so that's actually quite handy. Even if he guard, we just keep spamming attack, and we accumulate the fire. The spider's up there. Yeah, there's a treasure here earlier, or at least a loot. Now it doesn't cross over. How do we make that jump on that bridge? It is too far. This causeway is burnt to a crisp. There's two guys here. I would like to fight them one at a time. Nope. Not allowed.
Right, we can get onto that causeway and jump down, which we did. Right, that door doesn't open from this side, so we jump down for the marking flag. But we can't cross over. We can only go down. I guess we figured everything out. We can just use that tunnel now. It brings us... To the other side of this debris. We killed the Shrugway. We looked at the tunnels. So we do get to the other side, through the stairs. That's how it works, okay. And then we met Chengpu and Huang Gai. And he's the one guarding that bridge. Okay, so we are at the right place. Might have to wait on him a little bit. Wasn't sure if we could make that distance. Fall. All right, didn't push him over. This is where we have to go, but we see the loot here. Niu Fu? Okay, so this is not a player, obviously, this is an NPC. Niu Fu is Dong Zhuo's son in law. There he is. He was not in the capital when Dong Zhuo was killed. Uh, he would actually end up getting killed by his own subordinates. I'm gonna first heal. He's burning up. Got the full fire on him. Oh, he's targeting Liu Bei, okay. Not super significant as a general, aside from the fact that he's Dong Zhuo's son-in-law. He has a slightly different story in Romance of the Three Kingdom novel, but historically speaking, pretty much gained his position through the marriage. Now why are they marching through these pillars? Now that guy's gonna start throwing bombs at me. The left of us. I guess he can't see us through that wall. Right there. We could shoot him. So repeating crossbow headshot still does decent damage. Okay, I see the lieutenant guarding the final banner right there with two warlock, or at least two warlock. Boosting him. Not just him either, there's more people here. We can go open that door, and there's another marking flag. We're still missing one marking flag, as we usually are at the end of these stages. But there is a bit more that we haven't explored, so not too worried about this one. So yes, we can be on the second floor here, but what are we really trying to find? Ah, sneak attack. Okay. <coughs> I 
I'm trapped by the stairs. Ow. Ow, he went the full combo. It's okay, he's dead, and he's dead. We could heal and use that. There we go. Now, if we had stayed up there... I don't think we would have gotten anything, so... Not a huge loss. These guys... Don't move. So we can actually just snipe them. Okay, we got a headshot. He's looking straight. Ooh. Ah! Right, we saw him from the inside too. When we jumped up, he was right here and we forgot about him. We don't have to fight the big guy yet. It's only rank 15. I'm gonna walk slow. Feels like there's a bit more to explore first. No, babe, please don't. Yeah, please don't bump into him by accident or something like that. That's where we fight the boss. Which I can only assume to be the Taoist in black. Or the dragon again. Because Dongzhuo's men have left. And thank god Liu Bu has left too. There's an enemy close by, we sense it. Yep. Our radar. <laughs> I see the marking flag as well on the radar, as well as just see it on the screen. There's no way into this room. I mean, there's nothing in the room, but it just feels like if you have a room like this. Anyways. There's a Suyu over here. question is, are those bodies going to wake up or not? If he turns around, we can go kill that guy first and then kill him with a jump. Obviously, the less health he has, the better. There's more enemies here. Yep, there's another guy right there that Liu Bei just walked by. Liu Bei's stuck. Hold on, we can go to that side and just backstab him. It's also not Sui Yu, I think it's Xuan Yu. Oh, this, this door opens. Other side? Okay, we jump up then. Yep. Good try. Civil officer's last word. So we have a lot of tablet in this stage. I think this is the third one. Tablet found in the treasure vaults of Luoyang. It appears to be written by a civil officer. We were captured by one of Dong Zhuo's lackeys and forced to drink some strange concoction, but I managed to slip away and escape to this vault. It was a forbidden quarter, but with the city in chaos, there's no long uh, that lo no longer matters. Besides, it feels as though my body's on fire. Blood. I crave blood. So how they got converted into these demons. That's nice. Slashing spear specialty for the Dondros officer set. Alright, gotta kill the big bird. 
He's a lightning damage specialist. Alright, we're gonna go for the sneak. Should we just jump? Nope, that doesn't work. We can deflect these two. Ow, that hurt. Ah, it's a return with the head too. Not just one swipe. We could deflect those too. Huh, interesting. I mean, he's just trying to kill us with spells. Alright, just to play it safe, we'll pop another pot. We're gonna be okay. We have four pots left after this one. If he just lands, we can kill him much quicker. Alright, I think we got everything. Gotta kill the big guy now. much health left after the fatal. Only two strikes? I know he has a lava spell. Still burning us. We did parry it. Oh, he's going after Nobe. Or not. Let's just use it. Will he charge into us? Into the Divine Beast, please? Okay, we missed that. But he's dead. Uh, the reward is pretty average. Now, I think we're gonna get a reinforcement. Let's move Guan Yu back in to the team. The lightning got him pretty hard. We can kill this thing and get our morale rank back up. And maybe stack a little bit of Divine Beast stats as well. I think there's one enemy here that we can kill first. Right here. Oh, come on, Obey. Alright, Big Bird. Let's let's go boys. Will you land? There you go. We burn him. Actually, I think once we burn someone, we should actually switch to the poison weapon and also poison them. Stack both. Okay, we are at 25. We can pick up the heal and then move into the boss. We should also use up our points. We have quite a few points. Let's get our fire to 10 and then a bit more water for the sneak and range, especially now we have two four star range weapons. Alright, we didn't change our build, so the fire isn't going to be that strong, but it should be fun to try it out. We can always swap to the other weapon if we need to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
，你来的正好，就让你在死前见识一下。嗯<笑>，龙之丹田吧。吸收全天下的邪气，就能得到无上的丹药了。In Chinese mythology, and、uh, as you can see, he's consumed a lot of stuff. Poison. I don't know what we're trying to hit. Oh, there we go. He has many parts that we can lock onto. Okay, we can parry that. He's burnt.、So、we're gonna try to poison him now. Oh,、we'll、miss that. Can't really see him. Well, that's a red attack. Oh, okay. So it's projectiles. Three of them. That is kind of hard to dodge. Liu Bei and Guan Yu are both down, but I'm getting a lot of free hits. There we go. He's fine. All right, we parry that. Oh, but not that one. Trying to save Guan Yu there. <laughs> He just keeps stepping on us. Okay, we're about to punish. Can we punish? Is there a red? Is there area? Where, oh, is there somewhere I can hit? The eye. There we go. That's a big chunk. Oh, he lost the head. He's gained a big arm though. Still trying to step on us, but I think we can just hit the other hook. Jumping back, he's trying to cast spells. Oh no, it's the projectile, isn't it? Oh, can't even see it from the right. Are、right, we send it back? Nice. Oh, there's a third one. Keep forgetting this third one. He's not hard. It's just hard to see the screen because he's so massive. Save going you again. We almost have our tunnel as well, so oh, let's use tunnel since he's about to be dead anyways. And then he's also falling down. Where's his eye or arm? Whatever. What are we supposed to punish this time? I can't see it, so I'm just gonna hit whatever I can hit. Liu Bei and Guan Yu is not even hitting him. I don't. Oh, it's on his body.、You、have to climb up. Wait, it's on. It's on top. I feel like I have to climb. Oh, I have to climb these things to get on top of. Okay, that 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 is weird. But、uh, okay, he's waiting for us to climb this thing. No, he's not waiting anymore. But it's fine. We can kill him. Parry that. He's hitting the wrong side. We have to climb. It feels like maybe from his arm. Oh, okay. It's building it for us. 
We didn't know last time. Oh, come on. That was a good climb. A good jump, too. There we go. Had enough? Phase two? Ooh, fall apart. Oh, he's still moving. I can't hit him. Oh, I can hit him. There's a phase two. Okay. We have two more pots. Ooh. You parry that? We're inside of his brain? Blood vessels? Is it because we parried it that we can't climb up? I can't see what he's doing, but he's about to pop his spirit gauge. Alright, so where is his eye? He's, he's, his eye is above. How do we get up to it? From the front? Guess so. not losing health. Oh, he is. Instant kill. And that ends it. <笑>想必袁将军却无驰骋疆场之无勇如此一来今世百姓就得救了我等这边返回复命吧联军已然一盘散沙眼下可谓是名存实亡人终究是自私自利的呀无论何种情形但也不能对丹药做事不关。董卓就交给老朽和红晶来应付。如苏苏动身前往襄阳如何？Alright, so we got Teng Shu's jade. So it's a it's a snake. Shu is a snake. Uh, we'll see what exactly it does. We're going to Xiangyang because that's where Sun Jian's going to die. He's going to be fighting Liu Biao on Yuan Fu's behalf and die in an ambush. The story in the novel is slightly different. The reason why he's getting stopped is because of the Imperial Seal. Historically speaking, it's because Yuan Fu's occupying the Jin province, the northern parts, in Nanyang illegally. He killed the local administrator. And since Liu Biao is the new governor of the Jin province, he's trying to chase Yuan Fu out. So he 
basically ended all food supplies to Yuan Shu. And in retaliation, Yuan Shu sent Sun Jian to attack Liu Biao. And ultimately, Sun Jian dies there. But we'll get to see that next time. Got ourselves a couple rewards, some steel, which is nice. <笑>孙将军已往城内去了 在下孙权自周谋。我军正好遭遇棘手之势。此乃不祥之兆。难道父亲有何不死？别说傻话。猛虎怎会如此轻易遭人所擒？对不对？ 老天。Now, I don't understand why they're calling it the capital. Regardless, we have access to a few new generals, Changpu, Sun Ce, and Wang Gai. Maybe even Sun Quan. Now it's also strange that Da Qiao will be here and any of them will be of age. So Da Qiao's family is from Lu Jiang, and they're not anywhere near this location, and they're far too young at this point as well. I believe Sun Ce would be able to grab her as a concubine around the year 200, and that's when she would be younger than 20. We're still in 190. She's probably 10. Sun Quan, as well, is currently, let's see, in one in 201 he's 18, we're in 190, so he's 7. This is a 7 year old right here in the battlefield. Uh, the older brother is not that much older either, so both of them aren't really supposed to be here. Uh, regardless, we're going to grab that flag, that's going to be our save point. We'll come back and pretty much witness Sun Jian's death, already saw the bad omen with the flag. We might do the new sub-battlefield before that, the Lost Sacred Artifact. So this will probably fill out the story as well, because what we will see is how Sun Jian end up with the Imperial Seal from this, which is a contributing factor to his death in the novel. Darkness over Han Shui, well Han Shui River, uh, Han Shui means water, so Han Shui implies river. Uh, the location and name makes sense, since we are in Xiangyang, Han Shui runs right by Xiangyang, and uh, like I said, I think we'll come over here and do the Lost Sacred Artifact as well, go back to the capital, we'll see how Sun Jian ended up with a seal, why he's leaving early, according to the novel version of the story as well as the version here, and then we'll hop back over here and basically see his last days. Uh, I don't think we were ever able to summon him as a follower, so that implies like father, like son is the best place where we can farm his gear. We already got his four-star sword, the Gu Ding Dao, uh, Gu Ding Blade, from fighting him through that. So I think if we want his gear, we use this rather than using the standard O-Thorn to rank 10 method. Regardless, it was kind of fun fighting Tall Tit. Uh, it was quite easy in the, in the end. I think the beast is a little slow, can't really attack us underneath his leg, and we were able to just grind him out once we were able to find the eye for that second punish. Uh, it was pretty easy afterwards. I think you do have to parry that third phase or the second phase he had so that you can end up in his brain and hit him rather than get souped up by him. I don't know what the effect is if you do get hit because we did parry the only thing he threw at us. And once we were able to punish him from the spirit gauge and hit his last eye, it was over from there. 
overall pretty fun, and we'll come back and take on the Lost Sacred Artifact next time. Until then, bye!